Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Web of Intrigue videos for Let's Play Prototype. Not only are we back, but we're into sequence 8. And this is actually going to be the last video for the Web of Intrigue series. We opened it wide open when we consumed Elizabeth Green back when we fought her. So now we have just to fill in this little gap over here. Sequence 9 is also around, but there's very few of them. I'll explain that more by the end of the video. So our first target is going to be Dr. Nathan McKnight. Now, when going after these Web of Intrigue targets, I decided that the last way I should go about it is the rough route. In terms of killing them, and then going after their corpse and still getting their stuff. Like this. Brain's still good. Subject Pariah. We move to clean room at Vandenberg Air Force Base on 8169 as main test subject in Project Crusade. Subject exhibits unusual biological activity, responsible for five deaths in 34 years of captivity. Unlike mother, Pariah exhibits no physical symptoms of blacklight infection. We've heard bits and pieces about Pariah, but now that Elizabeth Green is out of the picture, we'll, couple, we'll get a couple more snippets about Pariah. Specifically, um, not a lot. But apparently, Pariah has been around since um, Elizabeth Green has been captured. Does that mean that he didn't age either because we knew that about Elizabeth Green? We're still asking a lot of questions here, but and we won't get a lot of answers, unfortunately. But at least we'll get a little bit more information. Our next target is John Hafner, PhD. Alright, Mr. Hafner, where are you? You're over there. Let's see what I can do for you. Run faster, come on. You are apparently a nice evasive one. How'd you survive a tree? So you're wondering what Pariah is to Elizabeth Green. The more interesting question is this. What does Pariah have in common with Alex Mercer? I have my theories. Mercer might be the artificial activation of non-coding regions, something achieved by genetic manipulation. Pariah is a natural release of things buried in the genome. I have a feeling it might be extraordinarily bad if they ever met face to face. Now that kind of foreshadows that we're going to eventually meet Pariah in the future, and look at this tree stump. Uh, apparently that's what was keeping the tree together. Had some surgery done on it. But we haven't seen any action from Pariah in terms of the game plot, other than what it's done according to previous records, so are we going to meet Pariah or not? That's kind of the thing as we're getting really close to the game now, and this is just being brought up now. Now our next target is Eric Stewart. Unfortunately, some of the targets are actually clumped into one spot, so I already got Eric, according to that last shot, but, well, let's get him properly this time. And by properly, I mean... Echo 
Breakdown smash! Better get to him. There we go. Operation Altruistic began 7569. Elements of the first biohazard threat unit now called Black Watch out of Fort Dietrich. The force encountered resistance from infected individuals on the outskirts of Hope, Idaho. After a prolonged skirmish, the town was shelled. It was then recaptured. Two survivors. One, Green, Elizabeth A., aged 19 years. Two, male child, identity classified beyond top secret. That looks good. The majority of the beginning of the game, really we only have the information that Elizabeth Green was the last person in order to be from Hope. But there was a second one who was even more special, and that was Pariah. What could it possibly mean, though? Who is Pariah? And what is he? Well, our next target is Dr. Bernard Morgan. Maybe he can tell us more about Pariah. I do come over here. I don't use this very often. There we go. You also wiggle too much. That's why you can't breathe. I don't understand the significance. Pariah may be the only thing that can stop Mercer and Green. They may not let me know what he is. But I can guess. If Green was an imperfect release of non-coding regions of the genome, and Mercer was something more, what if Pariah was a perfect realization of all the non-coding regions in the genome? It may be the final purpose of all life on Earth. So, Green, Alex, and Pariah kind of be can, can be connected together. And in terms of what Pariah is, no wonder they called him Pariah. When he's supposed to be this sort of final evolution kind of thing for the human race. If we're able to use all of the junk DNA technically in our genome. Still doesn't explain who he is. Our next target is Private John Lamberth. Seems to be doing well until, well, you know, this kind of happens. Why the fuck are they shooting at us? They're supposed to be on our side. Damn, damn! That is it, man. I'm out of here. I'm going to smoke anything that ain't a Marine. As everything explodes around us. Well, uh, in addition to getting bits and pieces about Mariah, the Mariah. Okay, I'm just gonna call him that now. Mariah. We do get bits and pieces about what is going on at the tail end of the game, because well, the situation is slowly changing. There we go. Our next target is Manuel Garcia. Now, Mr. Manuel 
given me no end of trouble in order to get him in a sort of flashy, violent way. One thing about him is that apparently he's magic. As I will explain once I take him up on the roof. There's something special I wanted to do with him. I needed a specific wall that wasn't near water towers. Eh, this area will do, hopefully. I kind of just wanted to break his bones, but then all of a sudden... Guys, I found platform nine and three quarters. Apparently I can't go in though. He's a wizard. I think with all the stuff I'm doing, I think I would be a wizard, huh? Apparently not in the magic variety. So, uh, let's try again. Eventually he does pop up again, but if, well, at this point, He's been giving me no end of trouble. So, you, Mr. Man, well, I'm just gonna be mine. Hey, hey, blue boy, get your men out of here. Thank God you guys are here. Get your men out now. Guys, we're done. Let's let the professionals handle it. Freaking wizards, people, you can't trust them. Until they're a nice splat of blood on the ground. Now, I don't know if you've pay been paying specific attention to the game at this point, but, well, we haven't seen a lot of police officers, and that's pretty much what I was talking about. Let's properly flip this bus, because apparently they were trying to do that before. So our next target is going to be First Lieutenant Lewis Robertson. I did want to air stomp him, but, well, I need to be a lot more accurate. Here we go! Off he goes! I gotta go! Alright! Yeah! Stick the landing! You will hear a lot of crap about where the group started, Lieutenant, but I'll give you the lay of the land. Sir. Son, how do you fight a war? Sir? You engage the enemy. In our case, the virus. We couldn't just sit back and study it, we had to experience it. No one had seen anything like it in action before. Hope Idaho? Hope Idaho was just a sacrificial lamb, necessary cruelty. Without it, we could not save the world. I understand, sir. Of course you do. That's why you're one of us. Randall seems to be a real American hero. G.I. Joe and whatnot. Kind of a different way of putting it. I'm getting close to the end of sequence 8. Not very long. Except when you're doing it this way. But our next target is... I guess it's Jesus. Be all. Because seriously, if I had a wizard before, I don't want Jesus. I don't want to involve myself in that. But this guy kind of was annoying in order to track down and keep alive. And he also doesn't spawn when the hive in the area is destroyed. So you need all the infected around in order for him to show up. So who are you, Mr. Jesus? Seriously. Maybe you're a wizard too, I just had to check. You can't keep me here. I know my rights. Maybe. 
But you obviously don't know much about martial law. You have the right to be ventilated. I have the right to burn your home and shoot your dog. Do you understand your rights as I have read them to you? Yes. Yes! Please! Then shut the fuck up! It's not a particularly handy node. But well, there's more of the situation around. You never really figure out where this martial law is being taken place, though. Not a lot of action in terms of the military areas. But our final target for Sequence 8, and our last target for the series, is going to be Thomas Wygand. Mr. Thomas is going to be a culmination of my entire feelings about doing this Web of Intrigue series, and, of the, well, technically the plot in general. Because it's not enough that I have to go and just consume them right here and right now. Time for a trip. Up to the top of a building, and we had to get suited up for it. Screw your plot! Nobody wants you. I am my own man. And now, you can come into my body. Everyone, shut up! I have an announcement! First, these people infected with the virus, they're dead already. Keep your distance, and if they rush you, you shoot to kill. Jeff, yeah, when's the cavalry getting here? Second, the cavalry. We're in. The plot is done. He's in my body. Don't take it too much more than it should be, because there's no more web targets available. And even though it says unlock new targets, there's not going to be any. Other than with sequence 9. His note also kind of shows that the situation is changing more in terms of how much the military is actually having an influence at this point. There's not a lot of people left. We're coming to the tail end of things because I don't think we can get much, much more troops involved in this thing. And that is it for sequence 8. Our final full sequence for this because we're at 98% of the web of intrigue. Sequence 9 is only two targets. That's it. And those two targets are going to be taken care of in the next couple main missions. Who are they? Well, you can kind of guess at this point who it's going to be. But I won't actually tell you any names. I'm just going to leave it at that. So, with all these sequences and all the nodes going on, how much story did you really get out of it? To be honest, I don't know. You get a lot of questions, and with the sequence, we can kind of figure out who the final boss is going to be. So I'll see you next time, everyone, as we continue on with the story and figure out what's going on. But in the meantime, screw you, plot! Screw you. Screw you. Don't like you.